comedy. The category where it's... Uh, I'm going to redo that. See, this is why it's nice to not What's be What's up, my Redditors? Once. Today, What's we're up? talking about com- yeah. comedy. Make you laugh out loud, rolling on the floor, laughing your ass off. Yeah. Here, here, Have you ever here, seen a subreddit God. called r slash animemes? It's just Woo. like that. Oh, and, and no. Let's not get into that. <laughs> here are your best comedies for 2021. 2021. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Here are your best comedies for 2022. I chose the best ことの微妙ってどういう意味悲しみの時はどんな困難が訪れようとも the jury winner for best comedy is Bachi the Rock. The public winner for best comedy is also Bochi the Rock. Whoa! You know, in order to be the same, they need to be the same. And I, I'm pretty sure I heard bocce instead of bochi. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to say anything about it. I spice it up a little bit more. I, 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 think that's, that's, I think that's like some kind of sport. It's like it's a bocce, like a bocce ball. ball. That's Isn't yeah. that what the show's about? Because yeah. it's like I a mean, cool sport. Like, it's really sick. The show is pretty cool, I will have to say. I thought it was pretty cool. <laughs> what do you think was so cool about it? I what like what the, is bocce ball esque about bocce? <laughs> the, the girls have round heads, like very bocce ball esque, and it's mm-hmm. it's just a fun time overall. Uh, pretty good show, and the only probably the one I watched the most on this list. Uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, for I would sure. say very uh, well deserved. It's and pretty funny. A lot of effort put into pretty much every element of the show, uh, and a lot of that to make it even funnier. Yeah, the it, mixed media elements are pretty insane. Yeah, you know, like one of the things I think people often discount about comedy is just how important visuals are. Because, you know, people think about the jokes and they think about the writing, but just every single gag in Bochi is assisted and lands because of some sort of corresponding, like, visual accompaniment, I think. Yeah, yeah. And and just the further you get into the show and, like, the more you get into Bochi's head, just seeing, like, all of her her little friends she's developed... Like the jokes get better and better. I, I I find like at the beginning it was kind of growing on me, but as as you get further in the show, uh, everything, yeah. everything just kind of gets better. I think Bochi definitely, out of all the nominees, uses its medium the most in the most interesting ways to communicate its comedy. Uh, some of these shows are still you know enjoyable and are going to get some laughs, but Bochi in particular, I feel like. Uh, in a similar way to what I appreciate about Kaguya, really takes advantage of what he can do with the presentation to sell a joke. And I mean, especially as someone who does like suffer from like a little bit of social anxiety, like there's one time where I tried to go to like a Reddit meetup and I couldn't sit at the big table that they were all at. So I sat oh, to the table damn. off to the side. <laughs> oh, no. oh, watched no. them this entire time. No, uh, oh, just reeling no. at as well. But it, it's 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 something about comedy that is that 
really speaks to the truth of something that makes it hit so much harder. Because like Spy Family got second in the public, and Spy Family is like a great show, right? But it's just it's so like surface level to me. It's just like oh, look at this wacky situation, um, rather than than delving somewhat deeper. Yeah, I agree about Mid X Family. That's yeah, it was it was pretty pretty normal <laughs> oh, for sure. Um, mid is mid is a little careful. Strong, tread tread lightly. <laughs> I'm Jeff. sorry, redditors. I'm sorry. This is the next spilling the milk. It's why it's my <laughs> family is mid. It's over, bro. It's over. We'd be crucified. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, yeah. Collapse. What What do you think? Was that a, kind of the general trend of the conversation in the jury, or what? Yes, it was pretty much that because like. SYX family was like, everyone liked it, but no one could go very ham on like, okay, what, SYX family is good, but is it great? Like, to say it really feel special to uh, warrant it one of the top spots in the nominations. And like, uh, we just had to agree that uh, there's something more in the way Watch the Rock is uh, adapted. Like you said, uh, well, personally, for me, it's it really feels like a passion project made by people that uh, are, understand its themes and really love the story. So, for like sure. you said, the way they adapt things uh, with mixed media art styles and uh, playing around with the visuals to really lend the themes of Watch the Rock, it really... Uh, enhances the experience. Like we also compare the production of Princess Connect, that is also incredibly well animated. But my personal stance is that Princess Connect does it mostly like quote unquote for the flex, where it 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 honestly looks better than than Watch the Rock. But Watch the Rock uses uh, uses it better for to emphasize its own themes. So it's like, like they don't do it just to do it. It, it actually like yeah. has meaning and purpose. It has now, meaning. Yeah. What I'm, what I'm noticing is that there's a lot of sequels in these rankings. Uh, what, what do you think about comedy sequels? Are they different than any other genre sequels, or do they have like a more weight of expectation, or do they need to evolve in some way in order to be good? It's a good. It's a good question. I mean, well, I think generally, uh, with a comedy sequel, uh, because a lot of these are adaptations of like ongoing things it tends to feel more like more of the same um but i do really love whenever a show takes the opportunity to you know ramp things up i think the one advantage that a lot of comedies have um including anime is that as they get more comfortable with the characters then you can slowly do more you can start some shows get too comfy but others use that as an opportunity to get you know, even more wacky and zany. I mean, there's a good reason that a lot of, with like a lot of sitcoms or even a lot of comedy anime, people often say that it takes getting past that first like season or so for them to really establish everything before it really starts to hit its stride. Especially because comedy, it, it tends to be more character focused, right? So you're not really looking at an overarching plot. You're not watching a second season to like see where it goes next. You're you're more looking for more interactions. Um, so I, I think that plays a big role in that as well. Yeah. Once they're more like comfortable with like, I, I guess, being renewed, I guess, for another season, because anime tends to not do that a lot of the time. They're more comfortable to take more risks, I guess, with some jokes and, you know, potentially Bochi the Rock, if it gets another season, can you go even harder with its animation budget or go further it, with the story? Like, you know, it'll be it really needs another season. I don't know. Hey, that's a quick thing to talk about. A lot of people were uh, disappointed with the ending. Um, was that a big talking point collapsed? In which show? Akiba Meat Wars? Bochi, 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 Bochi. Oh, Bochi. For, oh I'm sorry, sorry. Uh, not really. Well, some people did say that like the shtick got old by the end. Personally, it just it never did for me. Every single episode was a banger for me. What, what what I find kind of interesting that's kind of missing here, if we could get into that, uh, is there's no Kaguya season three here. Kaguya was main allocated in romance this year. Okay, yeah. okay. It, but, uh, and, and romance decided to keep it. Deservedly yeah, so. Of course they did. Like, what I also <laughs> I did sign up with Kamira also thinking that uh, Kaguya would have been first or second too. Yeah. Uh, 
similar <laughs> to watch it's a fantastic adaptation yeah 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 but are you, you guys seeing the movie on wednesday i watched mm-hmm. it uh, sunday it was pretty good you watched i didn't it even sunday? know it was out yeah. i had no idea was it good yeah I'll... yeah it's pretty good i put some slip thoughts from the drama but it's okay see the thing is in the u.s they released it in freaking on valentine's day wait that's today <laughs> oh wait wait no they're they're showing it they're showing it two times okay i, I didn't miss my movie okay. i have I'm no going, i didn't even know it was out to be honest i'm going with a bunch of dudes Ooh, romantic Ooh. uh speaking of things that didn't make the list uh i don't see hataraku mao sama in here because it doesn't deserve to be um <laughs> what, 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 what are some what are some other things that didn't make it onto the list collapse? mob mob cycle maybe uh, no, it might be action. action. Yes, yeah. Action. Uh, it was, well, that, that wasn't a very funny season either. Not that we used. Was, I guess. That. I guess you're right. It's it's definitely more character focused, but I still think it was mm-hmm. funny. I still think it was. Uh, there's some pretty laugh out loud moments for sure. Uh, well, uh, at least personally for me, I also sang up with in comedy to Shield Deppen with 15 exclamation marks. Uh, it was a really unique uh, comedy for me. It, like it has like cute girl art style, but the, the comedy is just saniness uh, incarnated. And I love oh, that that's um, movie. that's a show that got delayed because they assassinated the prime minister. Yes, that's the reason why it, got, it was popular. <laughs> oh for my so god! Long. Yeah, what a, what a but, poor. You, do you think that affected its ability to be nominated into comedy? Nah, not really. Oh, okay. uh, it, it it was just a very stuck year. We, there, we, there was also a slight chance that an, an anime called Futoko no Guild made it from the jury. Like, there was a slight chance. Uh, if you know, it is a softcore, a soft porn, softcore porn series. Oh, uh, well, that's... Like, um, yeah, one of those heavy edge. It was actually really funny at first, but it got pretty bad. So, nah, it... You... I mean, bad or good, depending on who you ask, probably. Well, I True. guess, yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, the last thing I really want to talk about is... Well, I don't know why... Why did I mark that as the last thing? I don't know. Um, other than having a really cool name, I noticed that, you know, typically the, the thing is, is that the public will take, like, a jury ranking and put it last because they, like, just haven't seen it, right? Um, however, in this circumstance, I see that it's kind of turned around I, I see your boy kong ming is like kind of beloved of the, by the public it got top three but yeah the jury rated the last what what's what's up with that it, is it just a bad show or i i haven't heard of it but it's making me want to say it's your boy over and over again yeah the, the general feeling was that uh, it had a pretty good start but some people thought that the novelty was running off some people simply didn't like that it got more dramatic towards the end personally speaking that was my own issue like i really wasn't a fan of the rapper arc or the asali arc in the second half i see i see uh, the opening was pretty funny but yeah, yeah. The op- the op- i mean it. generally what because uh, i've only seen like a little bit of it and it was uh amusing enough from what i saw but from what i've heard a lot of people find that the like the main premise of it gets kind of t- gets kind of old as it goes on gets a little tired and repetitive and think, that is a problem with comedy series right that, yeah. that that has the potential i think that there was uh, i i see the chance to see it via full core full comedy s- series but uh, I, personally I, it didn't got old for me it just simply decided to focus on things that i personally didn't care about hmm all right. Uh, was there anything else you guys would want to talk about that you have a burning desire to, mm. to speak your mind on? As Kimi Mo often is is flames. Everybody should watch it. It goes hard. Yes, yeah, it's Kimi, Kimi Mo? Fun. I see. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't watch yeah, much anime this year. Yeah, just to chim in. It's a it's a family friendly anime that it, 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 because of that it usually goes under the radar of the. Norm, average anime fan in the West. <laughs> You're gonna say I, I, I don't I, know what you're about to say. I, I'm not. I'm not dunking on it. It's just. It. I, even for me, like I just didn't knew this show existed. But uh, we receive it. Some. Uh, you really like it. We all watch it, and hey, it's really good. It's. It's really cute. It's and fun. 
I, I would suggest yeah. Akiba Maid Wars seems pretty good from what I've seen, but that's just. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, you, Dad, there you have it. Uh, go watch Chip, Chimmy Mo. Chip, Chip, Chimmy Mo. Chimmy Mo. And Akiba Maid Wars. And uh, <laughs> thank you guys so much for coming on. Uh, these are of our course. friends, Core and Jack's boy from the popular uh, hit sensation, Spilling the Milk. Check them out today. <laughs> Thanks, dude. <laughs>